Welcome to Get Hands Dirty. Today I'll make an awesome light box that can be used to photograph, draw and make other creative stuff. This is the structure of the frame. We'll be cutting miters, inserting splines, making grooves and covering everything. Let's get started. First, I cut the ply with two more imaginable pieces. Then the rabbits are routed to accept the back panel of the frame. I make a rabbit test to check the thickness of the plexiglass. And I like it a bit loose. Here comes the new 45 degree crosscut sled. Let's cut the angles at one side of each piece. The lengths are traced in the opposite sides and all the cuts are simplified by the sled. We just need to align the pencil line with the blade curve and we're good to go. I'm having a little bit of tear out so masking tape to the rescue. As you can see this plywood is pretty thin so I thought it was a good idea to reinforce the joints with splines. A test cut is always the best way to begin and plus I never did this before. It turned out nice but unfortunately the ice cream sticks are too thin for this purpose. Let's make all the cuts. I like to try assemble things whenever possible and it seems quite perfect this time. The edging and splines were cut from a piece of agba wood and yes, 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 I need a zero clearance insert with splitters at the table saw. I made myself a zero clearance for the bent saw really quickly to minimize blade wobbling. I make adjustments to get a closer fit for the splines and cut them to size. The final tuning is made with the block plane upside down and I'm very careful to not destroy my fingers. I glue everything and clamp the frame with a picture frame clamp. And I think I never made such a square frame in my life. Oh, I realize I forgot that one side should be smaller so the plexiglass can slide in and out if someday it needs to get replaced. So to fix this problem, I'm removing a bit of the height and obviously I can go all the way through. I need to stop before the miters. I'm beginning and ending the cut where the frame aligns with the edges of the fence. Now I remove the rest of the miters. I slide the plexiglass to be sure I can move on to the next step. And obviously now the edging needs to be thicker than the other ones. It's time to work out! Alright, let's smother the edging strips and make a rabbit in the thicker piece. I'm afraid that the glue can make it harder for the plexiglass to run out after, so I'm applying some plastic wrap to prevent glue squeezing out. Strips are glued one at a time so I don't stress out and have enough time to concentrate in each alignment. 
Well, it's a bit hard to pull off because the plastic wrap got stuck in some parts inside the rabbits, but with patience and time, I get it out nicely. Clean up the left glue residue. It's ready to sand and I do it by hand. I unpeel the sticky paper from the plexiglass and you can see how I love to always check how it fits nicely in the grooves. Time to finish! Two coats of wood sealant and two coats of matte spray lacquer. I sand lightly between all the coats with a fine grit pad and wipe off the dust with a paper towel. The inside of the box is all covered with aluminum stick tape. It is crucial to cover the entire inside with a highly reflective material. The lightning system is very simple. I'm using an inexpensive LED strip and a transformer. The LED strip has a sticky back which is very convenient and easy to use. When you finish your application, be sure to cut the extra length where you see the small scissors icon and do not cut it elsewhere or you will break the circuit. Plugging that in and it works! Now we need to cross the wire through the frame by making two notches with the router. To fix the backer board I made eight thin wood holders. You will want to grind the tips of the screws if you see that they may cross out the frame. Screw everything carefully. And the last thing to do before the final assembly is to pile the holes for three small screws that will secure the removable edge. Actually, I made this light box for a friend who works with photography and here are some cool examples of her work. There's really a lot of creative stuff that you can make with a light box. You can copy drawings, backlight images, photograph small items or even use it as a set light. I photographed these wood shavings just for you. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and go get your hands dirty.